Hello everyone, in this video tutorial, I am going to teach you how you can use a free variation swatches plugin in your e-commerce website and how you can create this kind of attractive variable products by using e-commerce and free variation swatches plugin. In this tutorial, I will teach you how to create variable product, how to add different attribute, how to use free version of variation swatches plugin. I mean I am talking about this plugin actually and also in later I will install the pro version of the variation swatches plugin and I will explain all the features available in free version as well as in the pro version. When you don't have this variation swatches plugin, if you have any variable product then the variables are showing like that in this drop down. It's not attractive but by using the variation swatches plugin you can convert this product page to this kind of professional looking product page here you can see the different colors are showing and when i hovering on the color you can see the color name is also displaying even if i click on the aqua then you can see the product image is also get changed and the rate also in downside get changed even here also you can see another product and here there is two attribute that is color attribute and size attribute so you can choose according to your requirement and when i'm choosing the color you can see the product image is also get changed even when i'm choosing the size you can see the product rate is also getting changed and it's really looking proportional so that is my website dashboard so first of all i have to install the variation swatches plugin i mean i'm talking about this plugin variation switches for e-commerce okay so let me come back to the dashboard and here i have to hover on the plugin and after that i have to click in the add new plugin option after that in this search box i have to search for that plugin that is variation searches for e-commerce so that is the plugin actually variation searches for e-commerce developed by Imran Ahmed so let me click in the install now option for installing that plugin after you successfully install the plugin you have to activate that plugin also so for that i have to click in the activate option and make sure before installing this plugin you must and should have to install the e-commerce plugin and your e-commerce plugin should be in active state so as you can see i already successfully installed and activated this variation swatches for e-commerce plugin so now i have to create some variable product but before creating the product let me create some attributes for creating the attributes i have to hover on the product and here you can see the attribute option click on that now the first attribute i am giving the name as size now in the type let me choose button if you want you can choose radio also it's up to you after that let me click in the add attribute option so as you can see size attribute is successfully added now let me create another attribute that is color and in this drop down let me choose color and after that i have to click in the add attribute option so now let me add some value to the size attribute so for that let me click on the size option so now here i have to add some value for the size attribute suppose i am giving the attribute value name as small next medium after the large size so like that in this way you can add value to your attribute okay so once i successfully add all the value to the size attribute now i have to again come back to the attribute option because now i have to add some value to the color attribute also so now let me click on the color option so the first color i am adding aqua and from here i have to choose the aqua color i think that's the aqua color code so after that i have to click in the add new color next again here i have to enter the color name and from here i have to choose the color let me click in the add new color so in this way let me add some more value to the color attribute like blue and for the blue suppose i am taking this color click in the add new color next yellow and for the yellow suppose i am taking this color click in the add new option next will be red and for red color suppose i am taking this color click in the add new next i am adding orange color and for orange color suppose i am choosing this color and after that let me click in the add new color so once you create all attribute and once you added all the value to that attribute after that i have to create variable product so for creating the variable product i have to click in the add new option downside of the all products so after that here i have to enter the product name next here i have to enter the product description after that from here you have to choose the product image you have to click in the set product image after that you have to come back to the media library now from the media library suppose i am taking this image click in the set product image after that i have to choose the category if you want you can select single category and if the product belong to multiple category then you can choose multiple category also it's totally up to you so next what i have to do 
from this drop down i have to choose variable product after that you have to come back to the attribute option directly now from this drop down you have to choose which attribute you want so i want to add color and size both of the attribute so first of all i already add the color attribute so now let me add the size attribute also so now for this product i have to add value to the color attribute so i have to click here and after that all the attribute value will appear in downside from here suppose i am choosing blue color after that aqua color next i am choosing yellow color and orange color next make sure both of the check boxes should be checked after that from the size attribute suppose i am choosing large size after that medium size okay now i have to click in the save attribute option so once you save the attribute after that you have to come back to the variation option now from here i have to click in this generate variation option i have to click on the okay so now it will create automatically different kind of variation now for the aqua color and large size suppose from the media library i am taking this image after that i have to click in this option i mean insert option and the rate suppose i am giving 23 dollar if sale is going on then you can enter the discounted rate here after that aqua color and medium size let me choose the same image only if you have different image then you can choose and for that the rate suppose 22 and no sale is going on so i am not entering any discounted rate here after that blue color and large size for that suppose i am taking this color and the rate i am giving around 23 after that blue color medium size let me choose the same image click in the insert option after that orange color large size so suppose i am taking this image and the rate i am giving around 23 after that orange color medium size let me take the same image click in this and the rate i am giving around 24 yellow color large size for that suppose i am taking this image and the rate i am giving 23 and yellow color medium size suppose i am choosing this image click in the insert option and after that the rate i am giving something around 25 next what i have to do you have to scroll up and here you can see the default value suppose from here i am choosing aqua and large size okay so next scroll down and after that you have to click in the save changes option now if you have any product short description then you have to mention it here okay after that let me scroll up little bit next you have to click in the publish option so in this way you can create a variable product let me check the preview once so as you can see it's coming perfectly and hope you remember when i creating the size attribute i take them as a radio button so as you can see it's come as radio button let me click on the different colors so as you can see the main product image is also getting changed according to the color so hope you understand how to create variable product and by using this variation switches plugin how you can create this kind of single product page it's really looking awesome so now let me check all the features available in this plugin so for that let me come back to the dashboard and here you can see this get o plugin option click on that enable tile sheet yes i have to enable that enable tool tips yes enable that also after that shape style two option is available one is rounded shape and another is square shape here you can see everything is coming in the square shape but if i make it rounded shape then let me click in the shape changes now let me come back here and refresh the page once now you can see this all coming in the round shape but i think the square shape look good so let me keep in square shape only so after that drop down to button by default this option will be enable but if you not enable that then in that case your product attribute will look like that and it's not really looking good as we can see here compared to this it's look quite professional so i highly recommended enable that option okay after that drop down to images this option is available only in pro version so after installing the pro version i will talk about this feature okay so after that come back to the advanced option clear on reselect no need to enable that after that this features are available in the pro version after that disable attribute style so here you can choose how the disable attribute will show if you click on this question mark you can see that that if you make it blurred with cross then the disable attribute will show like that and if you choose blurred without cross then it will show like that only blurred okay and after that if you make it hide then that disable attribute or not available attribute value will be not shown in the product page okay hope you understand the concept so after that attribute image size because as you can see in the general option 
this image option is available only for the pro version so when i install the pro version then i'll show you how you can change the image sizes okay so after that let me come back to the styling option so from here you can change the color of the tick color and cross color at present as you can see tick color is white color so let me come back to the product so as you can see this tick color is coming in white color now let me change it and make it suppose green color now let me click in the save changes option so now let me come back in the product page so let me refresh the page once so now you can see this tick color coming in green in color so in that way you can change the color okay similarly you can change the color for the cross color also it's totally up to you let me make it white only so after that from here you can change the width height and front size for the product page switchers i mean i'm talking about this boxes and this front sizes okay if you want to increase or decrease you can do it okay I am keeping everything as it is only. So now let me click in the save changes and after that let me come back to the product page option. So selected attribute variation name beside the title. Yes, I have to enable that and variation separator label. If you want to change the separator label, you can do it, but you can keep as it is also. A remaining option is available in the pro version. So now let me come back to the archive and swap option. Here also you can see everything is available only in the pro version. So now let me do one thing. Let me buy the pro version. And after that let me install it so for buying the pro version of this plugin you have to come back to this website the link i'll give in the video description so from there you can directly come back to this page and you can see the charges that is 49 for a single domain website uh, for one year and after that 149 for five domain website like if you have total five domain then you can buy that plan and if you a developer and you want to work with this plugin in multiple website then you can buy this unlimited domain option also but for your practice purpose i am giving this pro plugin link in the video description so from there you can just download it and use it in free of cost in your website and that plugin is totally safe but use it only for the practice purpose only okay so after you buy or download that pro plugin come back to the dashboard now from here you have to come back to the plugin and you have to click in the add new plugin option so after that i have to click in this upload plugin option and from here you have to click in this choose file option so that is the plugin so let me click in the open and after that i have to click in the install now option so after that i have to click in the activate plugin option so after that again let me come back to the settings option for this variation switchers so again let me click in this get u plugin option so now you can see all option get enabled now here you can see one extra option get added drop down to image before it was not there because this option is available only in the pro version now instead of showing these colors or this text actually you can show directly images i am going to change this color and at this place of this color actually i am going to use the image so for that again come back to the dashboard so i have to come back to the attribute again now let me come back to the color attribute and click in the edit option because i have to change the type and at the place of the color i have to choose image so now from this drop down you can see image option is there let me click in the update option so next so now let me click on the color so now you can see all the color gone here now let me hover on the aqua and click on the edit option because i have to add a image for the aqua value so here you can see image option is coming so let me click on that upload slash add image and for the aqua from the media library suppose i am taking this image let me click in this insert option and after that let me click in the update option now let me click in this back to color attribute because i have to add the images for other values also for the color attribute so similarly suppose for the blue let me click in the edit option click in this upload slash add image and from the media library suppose i am choosing this image click in the insert option after that i have to click in the update option so in this way let me add images for all the value of the color attribute after that i will come back so once you added all the images so again let me come back here now let me refresh the page now you can see here at the place of that color these images are showing so hope you understand the concept so again let me come back to the settings option so now let me come back to the advanced option this option actually i already discussed again i am telling so for disable attribute style the variation of the product which is not available how to display so by default you can see blood with cross is selected so as you can see here this blue attribute is not available so you can see this item is showing as a blur and one cross mark is there okay now if i choose this one blur without cross and let me click in the save changes so now here you can see let me refresh the page once so here you can see that cross mark is not showing but the image is still in blood actually okay so and the last option is hide so the variation of the attribute 
not available in stock for that actually it will automatically hide that attribute value okay so let me click in the save changes and after that again come back here now let me refresh the page once so after refreshing the page you can see this blue option actually gone only the available values are showing okay so you can come back to the settings option i am keeping this blur with cross only it looks more professional so after that attribute image size so after that attribute image size i mean attribute image size is this image sizes actually okay so if you choose bigger size then this image will show in bigger size but i think this 15 to 50 is perfect size okay after that exclude product category if you want for a particular product category this videos and switchers should not get applied then you can mention that category here okay so after that let me come back to the styling option so this option actually i already discussed but here you can see lot of extra option get added so from here you can change the colors and the sizes etc i am keeping everything as it is so now let me come back to the product page generate variation url let me enable that variation stock info if you want to display you can choose that but i don't want attribute display limit how many attributes should get displayed you can choose that but i am keeping it zero okay after that group switchers align you want vertical or horizontal you can choose that from here after that let's come back to this shop slash archive page so the first option you can see enable switchers show the switchers on the archive or product page so for discussing that let me come back to the shop page first of all so as you can see here in the shop page also those variation switchers are displaying and from here you can choose the values of them also and you can select the product also if you want to display those option then you have to keep this enable and if you don't want to display then you have to disable this option but i highly recommend it keep it on okay after that enable preloader yes display tooltips if you want to disable the tool tooltips in archive page then you can enable that after that so attribute label yes i want that so selected attribute yes next remaining here everything i am keeping as it is now from here you can change the display position before the add to cart option or after the add to cart option as you can see by default it's after add to cart is selected after the switches align by default it's it in left you can make it center or right it's totally up to you remaining everything i'm keeping as it is i am ending this video tutorial here if you have any kind of doubt you can always contact with me with this whatsapp number or with this email id and if you have any wordpress related project then we take the custom project also and for that also you can contact with this whatsapp number or with this email id hope you really like this video and if you really like and enjoy this video then don't forget to like this video and my humble request please share this video with your friends and family and please please subscribe my channel and if you already subscribe my channel then thanks a lot and don't forget to hit the bell icon so whenever i will upload this kind of professional videos then you will get immediate notification thank you thanks a lot for watching this video and have a nice day